Okay, there's Dodge 1, bombs away. There's two, follow me on around. Boy, I wish two could have got some missile shots off just then. But, no, that was all, that was my own fault for just mismanaging my sensor point of interest. Okay, I'll come around. Three and four should be coming back around, and they should have taken out those air defenses. Let me look in there visually, see if I can still see anything up. Okay, that's the JTAC location right there. So I have some more stuff out there to the left. Okay, and those are the ones that I'm going to focus on. Now, let me back off here and get into the pod. Okay, 25 contact. That definitely is a Mi-25 off my nose and to the left. Okay, let me slew back to... Okay, actually, let me try this. Let me go to Mark Point. Let me go to... Yeah, Mark Alpha will do. And slew the pod back over to that location. And come back around, see if I can send some more HM-65s in there. Still watching out for... Okay, 236. Gotcha, no threat. Okay, let me go back to Mark Z. Slew it on over there. Okay, there we go. That's more like it. Okay, so friendly location up there to the left. Okay, I'll go with this one as my sensor point of interest. And now this pass is just for the purposes of getting my flight in there. So let's go ahead and go flight and just engage anything that you want to. Ground targets with missile from the north. And I can, yeah, I can work in. As long as I keep using missiles, I can work in a little bit closer. In fact, let me get some stuff out here beyond the JTAC. Let me go for that one first. Go for the Maverick. And I'll slave it on over there. And I can do this from a pop-in, from just a roll-in over here from the right. To the right. Okay, let me slave that Maverick up to that location. Okay, that's the other target location right there. Let me roll out on the correct one. Okay, roll out right there. Let's go lock, fire, and off lift. I was a little bit closer on that setup than I intended to be. And I'm going to kick out some flare. Okay, that's a 25 contact still out there behind me. I don't think that's going to be a threat. That should be just AAA, right? Okay, that is a 25. Let me jam on air just in case and extend out to the east a little bit. I am hitting east. Yeah, I'm hitting 060. That's just fine. Okay, let me just for the heck of it. Let me go VHF AM. I haven't heard an AWACS call lately. Let me back out. I need AWACS. That's F7. And just give me a, a picture, please. F5. Okay, and both of those groups are way back there on the other side of the FIBA. Although, yeah, like I was saying with the... Once that contact starts to get down there onto that inner ring, like that 25 is, that's when I start to worry. So I'm just going to set myself up beaming this contact. I'm going to jam on it, and I just fly... Yeah, this guy, I think, is closing on me. Okay, so I'm just going to fly out there sort of left to right, so that it's going to have just... A, be at a disadvantage when it comes to locking me up. I'm also going to come out here and bring my flight with me down here into this terrain. So let's go ahead and go flight. Rejoin. Flight. Join up. I might be overreacting here, but that sure does look like sort of deja vu for mission number three. And if I start to hear my flight call missile launches or tally on bandits, then I'll really start to worry. Okay, so right here is a good spot to hold. Let me put her into a right-hand turn. Just engage the autopilot. I've still got some aircraft out there over that other target location further to the south. Ah, yeah, there we go. Let me select AIM-9s, take it out of autopilot. Okay, that's a mission success right there, but I, I'm having doubts now if I'm going to survive. Okay, let me jam on this one. Let me check out some more chaff and flare. Okay, tally, that's an engagement right there. MiG-25 up high. If I can come around. The sun cage. Okay, you're definitely MiG-25. Uncage again, come on. Okay, I've got not enough energy to come around this guy this time. So I've got to put the nose down. 
Okay, I'm going to jam. That might be another MIG. And I'm in a bad, bad situation right here. Okay, MIG up top. Okay, let me pull for this guy. I think I can get a shot on this one. Okay, lock, fire. It was kind of an iffy lock that I had right there, but I think this is going to work. I have enough energy to keep coming. That's a kid on that. MIG-25. Okay, keep coming. More chaff and flare out. More jamming on standby air. I've got F-15 contacts off my nose. I've got an A-10. I've got another A-10 right there. That's three and four. Okay, that's another missile launch off to my left. That might not have been a MIG. I've got some more ground contacts out here. That was a hit on something. Those are A-10s. So I might have another MIG out here beyond this ridge. Okay, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, clear my 6 real quick. Okay, 2, 3, and 4 have, have come in. Okay, let me just go defensive. Let me put myself into a good defensive position. I'm just going to set up in a circle right here so that my entire flight can support each other. I can even engage the low altitude autopilot right here. And, yeah, what's going to happen here is once we circle, yeah, 2 and 3. Oh, actually, 2 is going to clear my 6. I'm going to clear 4, 6. 4 is going to clear 3, 6. And so on and so on. Just in a big circle. All I have on RWR are F-15s at this point. So I think I'm looking okay. I think that missile launch and that hit might have been F-15 versus MiG-25. And let me pull the nose up a little bit. And let me go VHF-AM. AWACS. And just give me a bogey dope. What's the closest bandit to me? I don't care about the entire picture right now. Okay, 132 for 10, so that's actually out in front of me. I'm just going to continue just to circle right here. Okay, so that first one should have been off my nose. I've got F-15s out there taking care of that, though. I think I'm still okay. And just looking at my TAD, yeah, I've got my friendly contacts down there to the south. And this is more of that defensive formation that I was talking about where we're just flying in a big circle sort of supporting each other here so I'll show that on tack view and you'll be able to see exactly what I mean here and be able to pick up on what the benefit of doing this is my other option is just to extend back up to the north I would have to pull the nose up in either case okay a tally band at 11 o'clock from 2 so in fact this is what I'm going to do I'm going to extend north straight away right here okay that's a 25 RWR back to my left 215 for 22. Yeah, I'm flying directly away from it. That's exactly what I want to do. In this case, contrails up high. And the rest of my flight is just falling in behind me. And then I'll sit up in another circle out here once we do get set up a little bit further away. In fact, I'm bringing it around to the right, so maybe we can get those Chevys. If those Chevy caps haven't engaged already, if I can drag these guys, sort of like it's said to do in the briefing, drag these guys back out to the east into the Chevy cap. That's the thing to do here. So I'm going to establish on 060 and try to bring these guys back out if they are even, in fact, on me. I think that's not, that might actually be what's happening already. That might be a Chevy cap up above me engaging right now. Visual contact past the ridge. That's never a good thing. So possible MIG that I see right there we get a clarification from AWACS, F7, we go for another bogey dope, F4. Magic Hawk, 2-1, request bogey dope. Hawk, 2-1, Okay, so clean. Okay, let <laughs> me take it out of autopilot and take it around. And just in case, I've been deceived by AWACS before. Let me go ahead and go F7. Just give me the complete picture, please, F5. Okay, there we go. So, all right. I'm tempted just to knock it off right here in RTB. That's my vol. We had the mission success. I want to play around with this, just some more weapons delivery techniques. Let me go out of air to air mode and back into just the CCIP. I'm still on Mark Alpha for a steer point. I still have... Okay, I'm out of Maverick, so let me just assess the situation right now. Okay, I'm down to CB-105 and CB-87. 
Okay, let me put my pod out there in the vicinity of... Actually, Mark Z is the one I want to be on, my last weapons location. We slave over to that. I still got that JTAC out there, marked with the green. That's the one that I took out last. There's the JTAC. And everything else right here might already be smoking. Okay, 4-4 is up there to take care of us now. So yeah, I think at this point, yeah, I can sort of calm down and even go as far as working from a slightly higher altitude. And let me just engage the autopilot right there. Okay, let me take stock of where I am. I've sort of let myself wander here a little bit. Okay, heading back down towards the farms. Okay, so I've got it now. So yeah, we're just uh, looking across the FIBA out there to our right. And we're, yeah, we're, we're, we're just fine now. And I might actually be out of targets anyway, so this might actually be all that I do. Okay, I've got two more targets. A tank. Well, I've got one more target, a tank. And let me just verify. Okay, you're on the move. So, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. At some point, I got into the laser spot search, and I'll get out of that, and I'll also take the laser pointer back to uh, just laser. I was in IR pointer mode. That was just a switchology error that I made there. And I'm going to have to re... Okay, there we go. So, I've just got one tank out there. Let me assess this. Can I get... Can I get a CB-105 onto that location? And not have to worry about the other guy? Okay, 265 for 50, 20,000 hot. Okay, and 266 for 50, gotcha. Okay, so one way or another, it sounds like we have some more air contacts coming in here. I'm going to take it around here and do something with this target. I'm probably going to do CB-105. Yeah, I'll just do a CB-105 delivery on this spot. Run in for low altitude. Pop up. And with the CB-105, I'll be able to do sort of a... Well, I'll pop up, level off, drop, and then go off left. I'm going to leave three and four out here, however. Let's go UHF, second element, navigation, anchor here. And two, just in case there's something I'm not seeing out there, I'm going to go wingman, engage, and I've still got my targeting pod as my sensor point of interest. We'll just say engage targets with, oh, let's say unguided bomb from the east. Yeah, four, and I choose an unguided bomb because, yeah, I think it was in Mission 4 that I figured out that CB-105's count is unguided bombs. Okay, so I'm just going to do this from a straight run-in, pop up, level. Actually, I'll do this offset a little bit to the right. Okay, 2's got no other targets out there. So 2 says RTB, but what he's actually doing is just rejoining on me. I'm still going to take 2 in here with me. He's just not going to engage anything, which is just fine. I am going to throw another mark point down here. And I'm going to use a trick. Somebody was telling me that if I laze while I create the mark point, that it will, like, I think it was in mission three that I had the mark points being corrected or being created. Uh, looking through the target, if I laze and then create the mark point, it'll mark point at, it'll create a mark point at that location based on the distance. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm also going to look out there visually, and yeah, that's the only target that I still see. Okay, so let me do this. Let me pop up. Get out of this invalid fusing zone. That'll go away once I pop up. High enough to be able to make this delivery. I'll level out. And I'm just going to do one bomb on this pass. Weapon away. I've got those 25s out there in front of me. I'm going to go off left. And this is going to be my final pass. Pull up, pull up. And that bomb is going to dispense. And with any luck, it'll take out that last pull up, pull tank. Up. So I'm just going to take it straight away from these MiG-25s. Engage the autopilot right here. And just look back there and see what happens. That was odd. What was that? That smoke that just came off the two. Okay, these MIGs are starting to light me up again. I'm going to jam on jam on air. 
Okay, that was a target destroyed, so there we go. Still got eyes on the JTAC right out here. And that was it. We took out one way or another, we took out everything right there, so I'm going to leave my I'm going to leave my weapons arm just in case these MIGs show up again. I should be clear because I'm just pushing out due east. We have my flight rejoin, however, so let's go flight. And mm, how do you do this? Okay, F6, rejoin. Then I'll get three and four pulling back onto me. And if I pull straight back out to steer point eleven, I believe it is. We go back to flight plan, steer point. Okay, I've got MIGs about 22 miles away, and for MIG-25s, that's not very far at all. These guys can swoop in on me very, very quickly. 